Hi friends, welcome back to the channel, SciTechGuru. In this video, I am going to do the speed test and the RAM management test comparison between Moto H20 vs OnePlus Nord 2 device. And during this time of testing, I will try to use the 7 heavy games as you can see clearly. So these are the 7 games which I did select right now to perform the speed test and the RAM management. Let's see friends which phone will be able to manage this many games in the background RAM management. So Moto H20 has got the Snapdragon 7 uh, 78G and whereas the OnePlus Nord 2 has got the Time HD 1200 chipset. And uh, let's see friends which phone can actually open them faster and quick that is what I'm going to exactly demonstrate in this video. And this like stock UI versus the color, color UI plus Oxygen UI got mixed. So let's see which UI will be the clear winner in managing the RAM management. And one more quick note, I do know no one will be using this many games in the background but I just want to see which UI is really capable of holding them in the background RAM management. And this is a request which has been asked by a few of my subscribers to test the maximum potential of the phone. That's what uh, I'm trying to do right now. So this kind of unique kind of different videos you can actually find in my channel and make sure to hit the subscribe and stay tuned for this kind of unique content where you can only find in my channel. So right now first I need to show you exactly what Wi-Fi network I did connect in my device. So because this games actually require the Wi-Fi connection as well obviously. So you should know which Wi-Fi I'm connected because that's also that also plays a really very important role in terms of opening speeds of these games anyway. And here we go with the Wi-Fi. So 2.4 GHz, 2.4 GHz, both are connected. That's perfectly done. And the next thing is to disable the on dark mode, which we don't want at this moment. So let me disable it. So all the apps are completely clean from the background in the OnePlus Nord 2. And this also got clean completely in the background RAM management. So finally, it's time to open, start opening the Asphalt 9 game and one by one game. I'll try to open. Let's see which phone can actually manage this many games in the background RAM management. Let's start with the first game, which is Asphalt 9. One, two, three. And both are connected to the same Wi-Fi network. You should definitely understand. One more thing, I forgot to turn on the game uh, time here. Let me turn on the game time. So game time is turned on. Sorry for that. Yeah, all the apps are completely clean in both phones. That's perfect. Because I'm trying to use the game space here and game time over there. So that's what I did notice that I didn't, I did not get any kind of indication. That's on. That's a, I need to turn on. So right now I'm not using any kind of high performance mode. So no high performance mode used in the OnePlus Nord 2 during this process of demonstration. In case if you want me to use high performance, I can definitely use that. Because using high performance mode and without using will give the different results. Right now both phones open at same time. Exactly same time as it is. Let's see the Paragon's mobile game at least. This game, what's gonna happen? So which can which phone can actually open faster? So as I said, using high performance mode, it will definitely improve the opening speed in the OnePlus Nord 2. But I'll try to do that video again later on. This is a basic video which I thought of comparing without using high performance mode. So right now the Moto H20 was able to open this Baragon's mobile game faster than the OnePlus Nord 2. As you can see, that's so many seconds difference is there between OnePlus Nord 2 and the Moto H20 at this moment. Next is a Call of Duty game. Let's see the Call of Duty game. Both won't stab at same time and uh, this is going to be really very very interesting friends comparing both devices so which I am very very eagerly waiting to compare like this and uh, login page first in the Moto H20 and then the login page started to happen in the OnePlus Nord 2 you can clearly see the difference and Moto H20 was able to open the game faster than the OnePlus Nord 2 so in terms of the speed test Moto H20 was able to manage really faster in terms of opening speeds, not bad. As I said, I just want to see the potential of these both phones. That is the reason I am including 7 games. Because I am getting a lot of comments that no one will be using 7 games while you are doing. So my purpose is to just to check extreme level of RAM management and which UI is really optimized and better RAM management. That is what my main motive of doing. So first phone to turn on is the Moto H20, then the OnePlus Nord 2, obviously as you can see in the speed test. So I'm mentioning again friends, in case if you're a OnePlus Nord user, if you think the phone is really slow, it is not. But if you use the high performance mode, these games will open faster in this phone. Yes, I can definitely guarantee you that you need to use high performance. I'll try to do a separate video as well with using high performance mode. So no, don't worry. So this is a test. Every time whenever I do, do this kind of testings, first I'll try to do without any kind of high performance mode. Because that's what recommended by majority of the people because they said that average user they don't turn on the high performance mode so can you please try without high performance mode and then with high performance mode so right now both phones are taking jensen impact game so this also very 
big game obviously Genshin Impact so this is gonna take some time and let's see how much time and, uh, at this point I think the H20 was able to maybe open faster I think so let's see the login startup page we may see in the H20 or uh, OnePlus Note 2 wow. so just one second before the H20 the OnePlus Note 2 did open the map that's kind of really very close not bad and uh, you can see here the PUBG game after press clicking on the PUBG after some seconds it got started not immediately so that's the reason sometimes sometimes it happens not only in this phone in a few other phones as well so it takes couple of uh, seconds to get activated server is too busy I'll try to keep this login page as a background time management I think there, there must be some kind of problem with the server at this point in this PUBG game Next is a stand standoff 2. Let's see this standoff 2 what happens. First phone to open is maybe OnePlus Nord 2. Not bad. So OnePlus Nord 2, I think it may open faster. I think so, yes. As you can see, it's not bad. So these are the quick comparison between both phones into the speed test. Now let's check the RAM management. So RAM management is going to be very simple and pretty straightforward forward which I need to open all the background applications one by one all these background sound applications one by one let's start with the last game which is a standoff 2 and PUBG login page should be there and yes exactly and the Genshin Impact exact same page as it is not an issue both phones did manage and next is I think uh, PUBG Mobile FIFA game, let's see the FIFA game, 1, 2, 3, boom. FIFA game got closed, I think, in the OnePlus Note 2. So OnePlus Note 2 did manage only three heavy games in the background RAM management. It cannot even keep the another one. So that's, I'm not saying that's completely bad, I'm just trying to mention what is happening. Because previously the stock UI, it was able to keep a lot of games in the background RAM management. That is what my complaint is. Previously, I did use the OnePlus Nord C, OnePlus Nord as well, OnePlus 9R. Right now, I do have the OnePlus CT. All these phones, they were able to perform extremely good in terms of the RAM management. But as soon as this color OS got mixed, everything screwed up. Yes, it was not like before. Nothing. It was not like before. Before, it used to perform like stock Android, close to stock Android, but no, now it's not performing. The Moto H20 did not keep the back backgrounds mobile in RAM management and the Asphalt 9 game also not there in the background RAM management in both phones. You can see clearly. So the clear winner is the Moto H20 in terms of opening speeds. The phone was able to open most of the games faster than the OnePlus Nord 2. I think 4 games faster than the OnePlus Nord 2. And in terms of RAM management, the Moto H20 was able to keep the FIFA game in the background and Call of Duty game in the background. That's bonus points. So thank you for watching this video friends and next time I'll be using the eye performance mode then I'll be trying to compare then we'll get to know more details as well. See you in the next video on the Institute of More Updates. Meanwhile signing off. Bye.